All right, so hello. Our part of the presentation was the simulation and the actual flight design and the tests and all of that. That's Tony, Jacob, Reese, and I'm Lauren. All right, so regarding the location where we will be flying the quadcopters, our group contacted the Dean of Students, Mr. Sears, and asked for permission to use certain areas of the campus. He gave us permission to use the southwestern corner, which is currently being used for fitness, where they set up a little track and run around. Uh, next year, they won't be using that area, so it'll be free and safe to use. Uh, he also gave us permission to use the new field that I just mentioned that they'll be using next year uh, if there's some free time. And that would be a little bit better of a bet because the ground isn't asphalt, it's grass, so if we were to crash the quadcopters, it wouldn't damage them. Uh, finally, if we're able to get permission, we can use a farm field over on the other side near the southwestern corner, uh, but it's not ours, so we would have to ask whatever company owns it. Uh, on the left, we have a photo of the fitness field that's currently under construction, and then on the right, we have a photo of that southwestern corner I was talking about. As you can see, it is asphalt and not grass, so that would kind of be our last resort. Okay, so here we have the actual tests we decided to run. We have rain, wind, humidity, temperature, and pressure. The sensor kits ordered came with a fit, these sensors, and a much, much more that we looked through. And this is what we decided would be most appropriate for each of these tests. So for rain, we have um, the force sensitive resistor and the vibration sensor with a sprinkler or hose or a motion sensor. So we have options there. And then for the wind, we have a motion sensor again. For humidity, the humidity and temperature sensor. Again, for temperature, also the humidity and temperature sensor. And then for the pressure, we also have a motion sensor. These sensors will be attached to the quadcoppers bearing physical restraints. So the reason we're even running these tests is because all of the things we're testing for are variables that will affect flight conditions. And Understanding how these flight conditions affect you know, the smoothness of the flight and how well an aircraft flies, um, by measuring them we can better understand the flight conditions in Ohio. So this is how we're going to test uh, the, the, the font change, the uh, formatting change. Well, um, this is how we're going to uh, simulate these test conditions. So the test conditions are supposed to be uh, these, I think. Yeah, the formatting changed, so it's a little weird. Uh, but rain, we can test on pretty much any of these we can test using weather. They're pretty much weather dependent, but given as we're in Ohio and weather changes on a daily basis, like today it was freezing, yesterday it was not. Uh, we're not too worried about that, but it will take a little planning ahead. Um, otherwise, we could use a sprinkler or something to simulate rain. We could use a fan or something to simulate wind. Um, humidity, we just have to wait. Um, for in pressure, this one. Uh, we've got to change altitudes. That's going to be the best way to do it. Um, or maybe change, wait for the weather. That may change the pressure, but probably the best would be to change altitudes. Um, temperature really depends on the weather. This pressure is not supposed to be there. I don't know why it is. Um, otherwise, let's see. I, I think those are the biggest things, um, but since most of them are weather dependent, we'll have to make sure we plan ahead uh, for the days where it's perhaps a warmer temperature than others. Um, though we will have to be a little careful with planning around these because uh, the quadcopters may or may not be uh, waterproof, but we can cross that bridge when we come to it, or just change what we're testing. Finally, we'd like to say that we would love to learn a lot about patient safety, or not patient, sorry, passenger safety on planes, and that's the whole point of this project. If, any you, have, if you have any questions, email our teacher. <laughs>